And I just want to ask you girls a few questions uh, that we are all interested to hear the answers from you. So the first is, can you please tell us uh, how did you come about our church? Who invited you? I first came to church. Brian invited me to come. Yeah. Your husband? Yes, my husband. <laughs> A little new here. My husband invited me to come. Um, I, I was really relentless to come. I was angry at him for so. I didn't know what to expect. I, I was just battling my own demons and He's like, we, we're going to go, and, and I was no, you can't make me. I'm a grown person, and here I am. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. Sylvia, what about you? How did you come about our church? How did you hear about us? When I first came to church, I was actually invited through a friend who was visiting the church who was out of town. So he, he was from out of town, came into here, heard about good news, and invited me. I also was kind of rebellious on that one. I was like, no, I denied him a couple times until finally one Sunday I decided to come. Thank God for those friends who do not give up on us. <laughs> Keep inviting. Uh, when did you make the decision to follow Jesus Christ? When did that happen? Uh, it, this was a, maybe about a month ago, a month and a half ago or so. I was coming to church. I just wasn't, I was battling whether I really was in it or I was just coming because of my husband, um, I could see his grace. I could see all the promises and, 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 you know, everything was, I was just battling my own things. And, you know, one night I had this horrible nightmare and I kid you not, I woke up drenched in sweat. My back was burning. And at that moment I realized the only way for me to get saved from everything, all the things that I've been struggling with was to give myself, you know, and be, and be dedicated. So, I started praying that night. I started praying, and it was just this weird feeling that came over me, and it, it, it felt it felt good, you know. So at the point, I realized that that's it. There's no turning back. So Some awesome, that was the day. Awesome. Praise God for that. Sylvia, what about you? I don't really have an exact date or time, but since the first time I came and I was touched, my life had completely changed then. So it was actually just, it took me two, three services to where I felt that it was, it was time for me. Awesome. Amazing. So the next question is, what changes do you girls see in your life for, since that day you made a decision to follow Jesus Christ? What changes do you see in your personal lives? Um, from the, when I decided to come in and received, I, it was really from the get-go is where I felt loved. And so with being loved, I was able to share it with others. I was more confident and just a happier and just a lot more alive, just able to share and be able to help and dedicate my time to others, which that's my passion. Great, great. Myra? Changes that I've seen, I'm not as depressed. I used to be very depressed. I used to cry myself to sleep. I had ongoing thoughts and they were just horrible and after praying and you know I pray to myself and now that like I said before there's this peace I don't worry about my finances I don't worry about my health I don't worry about pretty much anything because I know that I'm giving it over to him so you know even Brian has said well the old Myra would you know <laughs> again you know that and, and you know awesome. there is that change so so you also, with your salvation, you received deliverance from uh, depression, as you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, the last question is, what are your goals when it comes to the vision of the church as a follower of Jesus Christ now? Here in the near future, I want to have a home group on my own. You know, I want to... Thank you. <laughs> You know, I feel like I am a living testimony of, of my depression, of all, I had anger, anxiety, you know, you name it, I had it all. And um, now with me being saved, I know that that promise was given to me so I can show that to those who are suffering, you know. I can have this home group and I can say this depression can, the depression, anxiety, all these chains can be broken, you know, so that's the next goal. To be a home group. Save to save others. That's awesome. Amen. Celia, what about you? I 
have that same goal, which I think everyone in here should have, is to have their own home group. Um, also, continue to evangelizing to people and see these pews full because Amen. if we don't speak up, nobody else will hear. You know, got to go out and reach others. Thank you so much, ladies.